Hello everyone and welcome to the world of want and engineering. I hope all of you will be fine and uh, this is our experiment number 5 of antenna and wave propagation lab. So in this tutorial we are going to uh, learn about the design and simulation of horn antenna using CST. So let us start from the introduction of horn antennas. Uh, basically horn antenna is a combination of uh, two shapes or you can say that two equipments the first one is wave guide and the second one is horn shape which is basically designed to provide the direction to the radio waves in a beam so that's why such type of antennas are known as directional antennas as far as uh, the operating frequencies of this antenna is concerned uh, this antenna can be operated at UHF and microwave frequencies above 300 megahertz all right so uh, basically radio waves are uh, generated or you can say that where radio waves are propagated uh, through the coaxial cable and with quarter wave monopole antenna and then uh, these waves are directed or you can say that uh, this uh, horn shape will provide the direction to uh, that generated uh, waves right so that's how basically horn antenna works as far as the types of uh, uh, horn antennas are concerned horn antennas uh, consists of different shapes uh, the first one is uh, sectoral horn in H plan as you can see that this is basically H plan horn antenna similarly E, e plan horn antenna uh, as well as pyramidal horn antennas can be used for different applications and circular and conical horn antennas also exists in the types of horn antennas so uh, horn antennas are basically directional antennas so that's why there are a lot of advantages of using such type of antennas that such type of antennas provides us higher gain uh, low standing wave ratio uh, similarly broader uh, bandwidth and uh, 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 these are very uh, easy regarding the construction and adjustment right so that is basically introduction of horn antennas so let's move toward the design of horn antenna so we will design our horn antenna in cst in total four steps the first step is about the construction of waveguide right so waveguide uh, is uh, basically an rf equipment and uh, uh, if uh, you have any confusion uh, about the basic concepts of waveguide or you can say that why we are using such type of values in CST uh, then uh, you can check the link of uh, my recorded lecture with my students uh, in the description in which I have explained uh, about the basic principle uh, of waveguides and uh, I have discussed about the proper formulas that why we are using uh, such type of values for waveguides so now start your CST and uh, uh, microwave and RF antennas and uh, then you have to select waveguide or horn antennas so such type of antennas can be simulated in time domain integral domain or frequency domain however I have selected time domain right so as uh, I have already claimed uh, that such type of antennas provide us broader bandwidth so let's say uh, I am going to uh, select uh, the frequency range from 0 to 10 gigahertz right so E field, H field and far field results uh, uh, will be checked after simulation. So defining frequency uh, can be concerned because we have to check the gain of uh, this antenna at different frequencies. So uh, let's say if you uh, want to check the gain at uh, 5 gigahertz and then 10 gigahertz and then you mm, let's say you can uh, check the uh, design from uh, 5, 7 and 10 gigahertz right so just click on next and finish so first of all uh, the first step in the designing of uh, uh, horn antenna is that first of all you have to design uh, waveguide so go to the modeling and then select brick press escape key so name it as a waveguide now as I have already uh, discussed that we will use uh, uh, these values so x min is uh, minus 25 and x max is 25 ok so minus 25 to 25 where you can say that uh, the total uh, 
height of this wave guide is 50 ohms uh, similarly we are using uh, the width which is minus 14 to plus 14 of this antenna and length is from 0 to uh, 70 uh, millimeters where the material for such type of uh, wave guides can be used as a uh, PEC ok so we are using uh, these values uh, for designing wave guide just click on preview and then you can click on ok ok so uh, that is basically uh, wave guide so now our next step uh, is to design horn shape and uh, there are different ways various ways that can be used for uh, designing flare or horn shape but the most easiest way is that uh, you can uh, select the face along which you have to uh, attach the horn shape and then just go to the modeling and uh, from extrude uh, face tools you can uh, design the horn shape our dialog box will be shown so first of all you can name it as a horn and uh, uh, height of uh, this horn can be uh, defined as per the given values of manual and height is 195 millimeter and uh, tapered angle is 10 degrees ok so if you want to uh, twist that uh, horn shape you can uh, define the value of twist as well but uh, uh, in simple horn antennas there is no twist so that's why I have not defined any uh, value for the twist so just click on preview and now you can check that uh, we have uh, uh, designed proper horn shape with this wave guide right so just click on ok ok so now you can uh, check in components that uh, we have designed wave guide as well as horn so to, uh, to proceed uh, further first of all you have to add this wave guide uh, with horn ok so just add this wave guide with horn ok so now the next step is that uh, uh, horn antennas are basically hollow shaped antennas but now in current situation our shape is not hollow so first of all uh, you can uh, select the faces along which you can uh, make the uh, make this shape hollow so first of all just press f and select the front face and then uh, from view you can rotate it and selects its uh, back side right so now uh, you want to make uh, a hollow horn antenna along these two faces so uh, as we have selected these two faces so just go to the modeling and now go to the shape tools and now uh, you have to select the option of shell solid or thicken sheet so a small dialog box will be shown which will provide uh, uh, you the direction that uh, you want to shell this shape inside and what will be the thickness of this shell so as we have already discussed that uh, such type of antennas has uh, 2 mm uh, thickness so I have selected 2 mm and just click on preview now you can say that in this way you can get a proper hollow shape so just click on ok and now you can check that this is basically hollow shape uh, waveguide horn antenna ok so now move toward the next step and the next step is about the design of monopole in horn shape so these are the different values of uh, uh, monopole so why we are using such type of values for monopole uh, you can uh, check my uh, first video of uh, this uh, uh, antenna and wave propagation lab series in which I have uh, explained about the design and simulation of monopole so I will also share the link of uh, this video as well in description so, so that if you have any issue you can concern that video so first of all uh, in, uh, in the designing of monopole horn shape so first of all you have to select a cylinder and uh, these values will be used for uh, cylinder so go to the modeling and uh, just select circular cylinder uh, press escape key and you can uh, name it as a monopole ok so these values will be used outer radius is 1 and x center is 0 and z center is uh, 13 
but uh, uh, you can note that uh, as uh, uh, as far as uh, the shape of this waveguide and horn uh, horn is concerned we have to design a monopole in this shape and this shape is basically along the y axis so that's why we have to design a monopole in y axis okay so just click on y axis so that you can easily define uh, this monopole along the y axis so outer radius is uh, uh, 1 uh, inner radius is 0 x center is basically 0 because we want to uh, design this monopole in uh, this center uh, but the value of z uh, z will be 13 so z center will be 13 and similarly you can check that uh, y min will be minus 11 and y max will be 0 why we are going to choose such type of values because we have to define the monopole in the center of this waveguide ok so uh, the material for uh, monopole can be selected as a PC so just click on preview and now you can uh, check that this monopole uh, has been designed in the center of waveguide ok so just click on ok so that was the design of monopole so the next step is that you have to assign the discrete port for its simulation so now you can say that uh, this monopole is adjusted inside the waveguide and now there is no option to select it, it, its face because if uh, you rotate such type of monopole then you are unable to select it face, uh, its faces so that's why just go to the simulation and then click on discrete port and now in this dialog box you have to assign the values to uh, to define proper port so uh, values are given in this manual so first of all x1 and x2 will be 0 while y1 and uh, uh, the value of y2 will be minus 12 and minus 11 so y1 is minus 12 and uh, y2 is minus 11 uh, similarly z1 uh, is 13 and z2 is also uh, z2 is also 13 so z1 is 13 and z2 is also 13 because you can uh, check uh, uh, this uh, uh, z direction because z direction is uh, at the 13 mm uh, distance from the origin uh, but in y direction we have uh, selected the values from minus 12 to minus 11 because uh, our uh, monopole is uh, in uh, the y direction right so x and x x1 and x2 values are in center or you can set, uh, uh, say that that's why we have selected x1 and x2 is equal to 0 so just click on preview and now uh, you can check that uh, you have properly assigned the discrete port or not so just zoom it in and confirm that either the port is uh, at exact location or not so i think the port is at exact location so just apply and click on ok ok so and that was our next step to define port of monopole antenna ok so move toward the next step uh, and this is our last step uh, in the design of uh, horn antenna so now uh, we have to uh, define a brick uh, to close the horn shape from its back side right so now you have to close this side and uh, in order to close this side just go to modeling and define a brick ok so just uh, uh, put the values as per the uh, given values in manual uh, you know that uh, along x axis its values are uh, from minus 25 to plus 25 and along y axis these values are uh, from minus 14 to plus 14 uh, while uh, now along the z axis uh, you can say that its values will start from 0 and the total thickness of uh, uh, this shape is 2 mm so that's why we will uh, move uh, backward uh, to the z min because this is basically 0 level and you have to move backward to close this shape and the total thickness of uh, uh, the whole shapes uh, either for uh, waveguide or horn shape is 2 mm so that's why I have selected the value of 2 same material will be used right so 
uh, you can uh, check the preview of this shape as well ok so just click on ok so now uh, you have to add uh, these two values waveguide and this solid one that you have uh, designed to close the shape ok so now uh, design of uh, uh, waveguide horn antenna is almost ready and now you can uh, simulate uh, this antenna and after successful simulation uh, we will check the results of this antenna so before starting the simulation uh, just check the uh, field monitors and uh, we have already defined different frequencies to uh, check the gain uh, check the gain at different frequencies right so overall uh, the frequency range is from 0 to uh, 10 gigahertz in which we will check the s parameters or s11 results of the horn antenna so just go to the home and just start simulation so simulation will take some time uh, so after successful simulation we will discuss about uh, the results of horn antenna okay so simulations have been completed successfully so now uh, we have to check the results first of all go to the 1d results and now you have to check uh, the results of s parameters are s11 so now you can uh, check the results of s11 that this antenna is basically operating from uh, 4 point something like you can uh, say that uh, it has started uh, operating from uh, 4.17 uh, to almost 7 gigahertz uh, frequency range right so uh, this is basically a wideband antenna and it can operate from uh, 4 to 7 gigahertz almost okay so similarly you can check the uh, results of gain as well first of all if you check the gain at 5 gigahertz then it is 14.9 dBi alright similarly you can check the radiation pattern as well so these are directional antenna so that's why uh, such type of antennas provide directional radiation pattern right so similarly you can check the gain at 7 gigahertz as well and uh, uh, you can check that its gain at 7 gigahertz is 17.7 dB similarly you can check the radiation pattern at that frequency so it is directional radiation pattern and uh, however the gain at uh, uh, frequency uh, f is equal to 10 is 16.9 dBi and that is basically its radiation pattern right so uh, that's all about the design and simulation of horn antennas so please subscribe one time engineering and uh, press the bell icon for our latest videos uh, thank you so much